Welcome or come back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have an equation given that describes a circle and ask us to find the radius in the center of the circle. So let me copy this 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 4x plus 6y minus 10 equal 0. Okay? So that is a form that is not going to help us to find what they ask us. We need to handle that form, and hopefully we're going to get something like this. And in that form, h and k is the center, and r is the radius. How are we going to handle that? And so we notice here we have 2, 2, 4, 6, negative 10. We're kind of lucky here. All of them have a common factor of 2. So we're going to factor out the 2, the GCF. Okay. And in, the, in, in this example, it's very nice because everything can be is an even number, and so the, the part we factor out is nice. If it's not, still factor out that um, leading coefficient, let me call it like that. And, and you, you need to get a form like this, basically. Because what we, what we can do now, we, we can cancel out the 2, right? Because we can divide by 2. When 0 divided by 2 is 0, so we, in fact, we get this one, x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 3y minus 5 equals, equals 0. <coughs> so now we're going to arrange the things based on their variable. What do I mean by that? x squared plus 2x plus y squared plus 3y minus 5 equals 0. And now we're going to complete the square, how it's called, x squared plus 2y, and add 2, divide by 2 is 1, and 1 squared is 1. So that's the reason here I'm going to put a plus 1, because that will help me to complete the square here. And uh, let's go to the next part, y squared plus 3y, and I'm going to do the same process. 3 divided by 2, that would be 1.5 or 3 halves. It's up to you. 3 over 2 squared, that will be uh, 1.5 squared, which is 2.25. You can use a calculator, or if you like the fraction, that's fine. It's 9 over 4. You can handle that, right? Plus 2.25. And this is the second square. Well, we add a 1 and we a 2 and a 2.5. So probably we need to subtract them, right? Because they were not there. Okay, don't forget to do this. Okay, and let me erase here. Okay, and let's go back and see what else we have here. We have that minus. Minus 5, let me go back on blue. Minus 5 equals 0. Okay, so now what do we have here? This, this guy here, we complete the square, is going to be x plus 1 square. Uh, this second guy, if you remember, 1.5 square was 2.25, so that will be y plus 1.5 square. And here we have negative 1, uh, minus 2.25, that is negative 3.25, minus 5, uh, minus 8.25 equals 0. So we have to do one more thing to look like this one, like the like uh, the form you see down here, which is adding 8.25, so we end up with x plus 1 squared plus y plus 1.5 squared equals 8.25. So now we look in here and we see h should be, right, is a plus 1, we have a minus 1 here, right, so this is x minus h. 
needs to be the same way, negative 1.5. So the center, when we call C, is negative 1 and negative 1.5. And I have one more thing to find the radius. Radius square is 8.25. The radius will be square root of that gentle one. Which I got something like 2.87. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.